Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, I've got 33 Bolos coming your way. Items to be on the lookout for. Items you can hopefully buy low and sell high. These items have been picked up at estate sales, thrift stores, garage sales, all those places that us resellers source. So I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. These are featured members of my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel, which means they have joined memberships for perks. My channel is completely free, but if you would like the perks, you can join at um, level two. We'll get you in the videos. So let's get started here. Check out some big money Bolo items. And the first one comes from Double T's Treasures. And check out her channel. She's got great content, and I don't think she's been doing it a super long time. So she is currently sitting at, oh, it doesn't tell the subscribers, but she's not, she has not hit her thousand yet. So go and sub her up. Let's help her get to a thousand subscribers. Okay. The first item she sold is this Amway Legacy of Clean Detergent Booster unopened. Now, this one she picked up at an estate sale for five bucks and she sold it for $68.97 with free shipping. So I think Amway is kind of like a direct sales company. I know that some of them watch eBay and you cannot list the stuff, you will get a Vero. Um, others I think are more lenient. I'm not 100% sure on that. So if it is a direct sales company, do be careful with that. Um, I don't know about Amway. So the next item that sold, well, that was weird. What was that sound? Did you guys hear that? Um, also back to talking about Vero items. I have three videos so far that I have put out um, on items not to bolo for. They are items that you can get suspended for or your items have gotten taken down for. Um, I posted something in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group and invited members of the group to share items that got them suspended or got um, taken down by eBay because of a violation. And those I formatted into videos, which is great because the Vero list is crazy long. And these are actually things that are getting um, removed current time, you know, things that are happening right now instead of just a list that you go and look at. So check out those three videos. Definitely, I learned so much from those. And there's some things that over and over and over, I kept getting people saying, like one thing is water filters. For some reason, those you do not want to list, you will get, um, they'll get taken down or you'll get sus a suspension, uh, but certain companies. So just check it out. All right. This shoeless, shoeless Jane model 1200 girls softball baseball mitt glove. I don't know what shoeless means. I don't know too much about, um, oh, that's, I guess it's the brand. Interesting. So see, learning, learning, learning. Uh, garage sale, $15 is what she paid for it. And she sold this for a best offer of $75 with free shipping. And this one is a revitative, revitative, I don't know how to say that, foot massager, rocker circulation booster with remote. This one came from an estate sale. She paid $10 for it and it sold on best offer for $130. Free shipping. The next item comes from Anytime Picker and he sources at the Goodwill um, garage sales. I know he's got garage sale content over on his channel. Also, he has what sold videos. So check out his channel. And he also is working towards getting to 1k. So sub him up. He got this Viking professional series stainless steel toaster. And he got this at the Goodwill for $3. And he sold this for $71.10 plus shipping. The next item is this Bop It Extreme. Um, Okay, so I have never used a Bop It before, and I picked one up at the Goodwill Benz, and I actually made a video on my reseller testing Bolo products of me, like, playing this Bop It. I might keep it. It is so fun. Mine is not as fancy as this one. 
and mine is not a big money bolo. But if you can find them new in the package, it looks like you should probably pick it up because he sold this for $199 and he got it at the Goodwill for $3.39. But if you've never played Bop It, oh my goodness, it's so fun. Um, the next item is this, and I haven't decided if I'm going to sell it. I might still sell it. So it may be in my store in the near future. Uh, TY Jumbo, uh, it's orangutan. It's a plush and it's Thai not T-Y. I always say T-Y, but it's actually pronounced Thai from what I've been told. But there it is, Jumbo Sweetheart. And this guy sold for $89.10 plus shipping, and it was from the Goodwill for $8.19. The next item comes from Antiques from Karen Janet, and she um, inherited a hoarded estate from her mother. And it's not a regular hoarder's estate. She had an antique booth and was a collector and has amazing bolos. But check out her channel. She's going through all of that stuff, selling stuff for crazy money. She has live sales on her channel that she's selling the stuff from this. Just check it out. Really neat. This sailboat transport big rig challenger from 1985. This came from, um, she says, uh, a hoarder's unit, uh, her, a hoard. But the thing is, is like anybody would want this hoard. It's a great hoard. So not all hoarders, um, hoard bad stuff. This is just amazing. The stuff she's finding, but anyway, this sold for best offer of $45 plus shipping. And this Barbie also same thing, uh, sold for $50 best offer plus shipping. Now I will say she does have her hands full. It is a lot of work. I was watching one of her videos the other day and it is just so much stuff, but it really makes for really cool content. And she's making so much money on these amazing things that her mother held on to. So this one sold for $80, uh, best offer. It's a 1990 Galab baby face. So funny, Natalie doll, new old stock. I mean, wouldn't you like to inherit all of this crazy good stuff? Wow. Okay, the Funky Pickle Thrifter. She sells tons of jewelry, but she also sells lots of vintage items. And she is fantastic. Her channel's fantastic. The items she finds is fantastic. And her knowledge on jewelry, oh my goodness, amazing. Um, the first item here is this Paul is the Living End, and it's a trading card. And this one she got at a yard sale for 75 cents, and this sold on auction for $75.50. And if you check out her store, she sold some other ones for really good money as well. The next item are these men's black boots. They're Ranch Road Roper, uh, size 14. So pick these up at for $15. I'm not sure where she got them, but they sold for $120 on auction plus shipping. This one is awesome. Like I said, super knowledgeable about jewelry. Here it is. I love this little thing that she puts her jewelry on to show the measurements. That's a great reseller tip right there. Vintage Panetta shrimp brooch pin, rhinestones and enamel. And she got this at an antique mall. She did pay up for it. She paid $25 for it, but that's because she knew she could flip it for big money. She sold this for $124.99 plus shipping. So there are 11 featured members in this video. All of the links to their channels and their eBay stores will be linked down in the description of the video. Again, I highly recommend that you go and sub them all up. Check out their content. Check out their eBay stores. Um, Cha-Ching King is another youtuber that is just putting out amazing content um he's very very good at editing but he just hit the best storage unit oh my goodness um and he says that he bought it to show people that storage units are a lot of work and you don't make a lot of money and he hit like the jackpot so go check that out our best locker ever just a fun, awesome video and I, just unbelievable finds. Just great. And he is a bolo finder. 
He um, is super, super knowledgeable. You will definitely learn. And he's putting out content for um, new resellers also to help them learn like about shipping and selling on eBay. So if you're new, um, definitely check him out for that content as well. Uh, 35 millimeter slides. Uh, another channel that sells these is Yard Sales and Dreams. And she picked up a huge lot of these slides and she has done really, really good selling a lot of them for big money. But uh, check out Yard Sales and Dreams. But this is about the Cha-Ching King right here. And these slides sold for $306.55 plus shipping. Now, it is a little bit of work because you do want to feature some of the slides to just let people see what um, they're getting. But uh, you can't show them all. I mean, there's 700 of them here. Where did he get this? He got this for free. Of course he did. And sold it for $306.55 plus shipping. A lot of people just think they're worthless, you know, and they're not. Um, it does vary uh, on the content of the slides. Um, that's going to increase your value or decrease it. So uh, you do kind of have to do your research. Vintage Josie Marie. Um, this is a burlap painting of a girl with a doll. It's uh, mid-century modern. I believe it's handmade. He got this at an estate sale for $12 and he sold it for $275 on best offer. The next item comes from the Cha-Ching Cha 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 King's storage locker. Um, oh my goodness. The storage locker I was just telling you about, he bought a bunch of hockey items came in it. And how cool is this? Look at this. This is cool. So this is how he sold it. Great photos. I love how he does his front photos. I'm guessing this probably doesn't help you if somebody is searching um with google lens um, it might pick it up but it does give you a good idea of what comes in this lot he sold this one lot for 124.99 plus shipping and let me see here the whole storage locker was 500 dollars. so what he made one fifth of his money back already with one item Horse and Hair Curiosity Shop, if you guys have been watching me for a while, I always go up about her store because she has amazing stuff. I don't know where she gets this crazy stuff. I do from the videos, like a lot of estate sales. and But she finds cool stuff at thrift stores. It must just be the area that she lives in. Just must have really cool um, items. So she, the first item, is this rare Nino Par, uh, Parucha? Fish octopus seaweed platter. It's a wall hanging. Let me get you. Made in Italy. So I don't know how she identified it, but um, she got this at the Goodwill for $5.50 and sold it for a best offer of $60. The next item is these Laurel Birch design. Um, they're cat plates from 1988. And she got these for $5 at a garage sale and sold them for $95 plus shipping. And the next item here is this vintage, it's a folk art chicken, you guys, by Herbert Yazzie, Lulu Herbert Yazzie. Let's see right here. So it's just like in marker on the bottom. Would you have picked up this chicken or would you have walked right past it? Let me know in the comments. Um, she paid $2.76 for that at the Goodwill, and she sold it for $68. The next item comes from Lake Threads, and he does not have content yet, but he is planning on putting out content soon. So sub him up and be prepared. Um, he sold this vintage Little Tykes semi-truck, and he got this at a thrift store for $4, and he sold it for $69.99. I've sold some of the little tykes cars, the bigger cars, and they they do well. I think they're just harder to find. Uh, Studio Nova Barrier Reef Dinner Plate. So he sold eight of these. They are bread and butter by themselves. But if somebody lots them all up and buys all of them, he sold all of these for $89.99 to one buyer. And he got these. Um, I'm sorry. Hold on a second. 
Okay, I'm sorry. He paid 99 cents each for these at a thrift store and sold them for 13 each. So maybe this wasn't the same buyer that bought all of them. He may have sold those individually. I apologize. I was thinking of another one I did earlier. Okay, these Eileen Fisher pants. These came um, from a consignment store. He paid $8 for those and they sold for $89.99, which is not matching up. Oh, that's right. I remember now. I had another pair and we couldn't find the listing. I think it was too old. So these actually sold for $77.99, but he said he got them at the same place, a consignment store for eight bucks. Eileen Fisher is a pretty good brand. It's a high dollar brand. You can see right here, I think they retail for over $100. The next item comes from Mutton Ridge Finds, an awesome store here with lots of variety. Definitely check her out. She does some bulk listings, so. All right, what did she sell? She sold this 80s Blue Country Kitchen tile calendar duck geese farm decor hand-painted wood. This sold for $111.99, and she picked this up at a thrift store for $5, which is awesome. The next item is this dollhouse furniture. Love, love, love this. I love how she has it set up to look like it's um, ready to go straight into the dollhouse. Uh, this came from Facebook Marketplace. She's got about $6 in this and sold it for $55.10 plus shipping. The next item is this yellow spotted art glass butterfly. It's like a figurine. She got this at a flea market for $13. Is that right? Or $3. I'm sorry, $3. And she sold it for $33 plus shipping. That probably would not be very fun to ship. Look how delicate it probably is. Ah, all right. The next item comes from Random Chick Vintage. Um, that is her eBay store. And I am under her sold. So we want to get out of there because I'm giving away all the goods. All right. Lots of stuff here. And I believe she works full time and does eBay on the side. And she is looking to get into YouTube. So no content yet, but hoping to do some soon. So definitely subscribe to her. And the first item she sold is this Lafayette lambskin leather jacket. And this one sold for $115 on best offer, free shipping. And she picked this up for $6.99. The next item here is this hood ornament, which is a vintage Ram head from the 1980s Dodge Ram Charger hood ornament. And this one she got free at a moving sale and she sold it for $100 plus shipping. The next item is this new old stock vintage Carhartt duck vest. So some of the vintage Carhartt stuff can go for big money. Definitely look it up if you see it. She got this at a yard sale for $1 and it sold for $75 plus shipping. And it did have the original tag still attached. The next item comes from Don's One Stop Shop. Um, I'm in his sold, so let's get out of there. And this is his current and active listings. Again, his link is down below in the description. Big variety of stuff. Check him out. And the first item he sold is this replacement blender glass pitcher. So this is just the top there. He got this at a yard sale for $5 and parted it out. He sold this part for $57.50 plus shipping. Fruit of the Looms from 1995, vintage men's briefs. These are definitely a bolo. If you see old, new old stock vintage men's underwear, look them up. Some of them may surprise you. He got these at the Goodwill for $2.99 and he sold these for $45.99 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage pink D handle. So you see the shape of the handle. They call that a D handle. Pink milk glass mug, Fire King. Um, this one came from the Goodwill for $1.99 and he sold it for $49.99 plus shipping. Lombardi Limited um, does a lot of postcards, greeting cards, ephemera. Check him out if you are interested in ephemera. He does other vintage items as well, but really cool store. And he picked up this Pyrex dish. It's a casserole dish. And not all Pyrex is created equal. Some of it goes for bread and butter and some of it goes for big money. But you definitely want to look it up. Sometimes it can be a common pattern in a weird um, or uncommon shape 
of dish, which will bring more money, or it's an uncommon pattern. So different variables for that. Pyrex is tricky. So be careful and do not overpay for it. I've got some videos on that on my channel. Um, he picked this up for 12 bucks at a flea market and he took a best offer of $65 plus shipping. Patsy Klein Deca 45 RPM tested sample only record. Love sick blues. Got this for 50 cents in a lot and he sold this for $72.95. Or no, wait, I'm sorry. I can't read my writing. I don't know if it's 65 or 55. Anyway, it's a bolo. But it says sample copy, not for sale. So maybe that's what brought the value up. I'm not really sure. Okay, here's one of those cool postcards I was telling you about. And it's from the 1900s. This one sold for a best offer of $65, free shipping, and he's got about 10 cents in this. He picked up a huge lot of um, postcards. I can't remember what he paid for it, but it was like a really fantastic deal. But a lot of times what is on the postcard, like the vintage Halloween, some of the vintage Easter, um, that can change the value of the items. So it's really important what it is, what it's about. So thank you for being here. If you're new here, um, be sure to subscribe if you liked what you saw. If you'd like to become a member so that you could be featured in a video that is level two, join button down below. Um, if you don't see the join button, there is a link in the description along with other links um, like list perfectly. You can get 30% off your first month with coupon referral code BOLABUDDIES, all one word. Um, if you want to try Photo Room, uh, you can get your first month free with code BOLO and worth point there's a link down for that and if you guys don't know about worth point it's a way to look up comps for your items for um things that sold like in the past like longer than um let's see what ebay i think you can go back 90 days terra peak i think you can go back longer but worth point can go back even longer um i'm selling more like vintage uh hard goods now if you're doing clothing like modern day clothing, it's probably not for you. But if you're doing vintage antiques, harder to find items, Worth Point is amazing. Link down below for that. Um, yeah, check it out. Just check out the links. But be sure to follow and subscribe to all of these resellers that were featured here. They're all linked down below. They're all fantastic. Thank you guys for being here and thanks for watching.